Welcome to today's episode of AJY. Today we're going to go through my spell and trap staples binder. Uh, no more deck cores in this one. I've gotten so many binders nowadays that uh, they kind of got switched out. But this is going to be spell and trap staples. We're going to open up my winnings from last Friday. See if I can't maybe get another cyber dragon, huh? Maybe another droplet that I can trade for Cyber Dragon. I believe this is the one I got for winning, so. And the name of Yugi Kaiba Hook cards. Bless our polls. Amen. Smack, smack. Yeah, seems to work for guys at local. Give it a little smack. See what happens. Okay. Very out of focus. Breath of Acclamation, Cyber, Photon Pulse. Okay. I figure while we go through the uh, binder, we'll also kind of stop at some of the ones that I really like to use a lot, or, you know, we'll go through them. Reptilian Zeta. And the one I got for winning. Let's see if winning was even worth it, huh? Got anything for me? No? Quinglon. Oh, man. I am just running out of my ulti gang. Game. Ulti game. Alright, let me move these. So, kind of got a flash of the first page already, but Monster Reborns. Oh, wait. Monster Reborns. Photon Sanctuary. You can use this card to special summon two tokens. Uh, but you can only, um, let me read here, two tokens in defense, um, can't summon other monsters the turn you activate this card except for light monsters, so it, it works good if you're running in light stuff, and, um, uh, I'm trying to think, like, Vanity's Ruler or something like that. Vanity's Fiend. I think some of those were used with these. There's there's a lot of good applications. I've seen this card in a lot of decks. Um, Harpist Feather Dusters. We got my pot cards. Pot of Duality. Pot of Desires. Pot of Avarice. Pot of Prosperity. Extravagance. And Inquisitiveness. Target three of your banished monsters. Shuffle them back. And then draw a card. Um, we got the secret rare section of removal, back row removal, and we got, these are my secret rare trade-in, my collector rare ones are already in a blue eyes deck, prohibition, world legacy guard dragon, one for ones, you can never have enough of them, somehow, even though you can only run it at one, it just ends up in so many different decks that I probably own like 10 copies of this card and constantly I'm having to go look for them and put them in other stuff. Same with Rotas. Um, what do we got here? We got our Instant Fusion, Dark Hole, Brain Control, a couple of Dual Terminal, Foolish Burial, the Lost Art one, Reasoning, the Rygekis, I, I, I don't remember what's right here, but whatever it is, it's in a deck right now. A couple of these cards are in decks. The Seal of Ori Calcos, I was using that recently. Got, uh, I need one more shared ride, but uh, we got the Mystic Mines. For the longest time, I only had one of these sleeved up, and I never used it for about a year. I had this card sleeved and in here for a year before I even put it in a deck. And then it only lasted like two weeks, and then it got back in the binder. And then I figured, you know what, to make it look good, I'll sleeve the other two and put them in here. But I really do hate this card with a passion. I hate this card so much, I don't even use it. Uh, Mausoleum, Necro Valley, I have yet to use that one yet, but it's, it was used on me, and I was like, oh, yep, that needs to be in the collection. Terraforming, you can never have enough of. Pinpoint, enemy controllers. Silent Graveyard, let's see, discard a card. Effects that activate in the graveyard are negated. Um... Discard one card, effects that activate in the graveyard this turn are negated. So, shuts the graveyard off for a turn. 
Monster Gate's pretty good. Chaos Space, of course, is great. Chain Energy. As long as this card remains face up on the field, both you and your opponent must pay 500 life points per card to play or set. So every single time you want to put a card on the field or use a card, you're paying 500 life points. It's pretty incredible, actually. You know, just do your entire turn, get your whole board up, put this down, and then watch your opponent struggle with that. Uh, where art thou? Great card, scapegoat, eh, you know, goat format, but who, who's really going to use it today? Magic Glass Fusion is a great card if you can use it, and Sanctuary gets you a uh, Metal Fiend token. Foolish Burial Goods, more agreed. Oh, I love the Book of Moon. My secret rare Book of Moons are in my Shadal deck. Um, my body has a shield, great card. I love a World Legacy Succession. You get to special summon a monster out of your graveyard to a zone and link monster points to. It's almost necessary to play this in Prank Kids, but if you play this in other decks that you're gonna link summon a lot, just play one monster reborn in one world legacy succession. It's almost like having two monster reborns. Pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, got my secret rare poly up here that I really wish I had three of. Mind control. This one lets level one monsters attack directly, which is crazy and zombies. Cocoon for all those insects. Two ulti Night Beam, an upstart goblin. Three ulti Forbidden Chalice, and my call by the Graves here. Unexpected. Soul Release is a really good card, actually. Nobody, I know one person who plays this card a lot, right? And every time he does it, you get to target up to five cards in any graveyard and banish them. Now, can you imagine you target, you know, your opponent makes whatever, and then you start your turn, and you soul release basically their entire graveyard, or at least five of the most important cards out of their graveyard. Now they have no recur- like Drytron. Oh, that would hurt Drytron so much. You're gonna banish five of their cards? Oh, that would suck. Um, Psychic Eraser Laser I have never put into a deck, but it's, it's a good card, I just- Never put it into a deck. Um, Swords of Revealing Light ironically find their way into a lot of decks that I need to stall for time. Card Destruction is a good one for Drytron just because you can waste your hand and then draw new cards. So hopefully you have Drytron monsters in your hand. You get rid of them, pull more of them. Super, super hooks up your play. But you really want to see this on turn one. If you see it later, most likely it's not going to be effective. So it, it hurts that it's only a one of and of course machine dupe that card is crazy if you can play that one uh, black garden up here um, really good card it, it makes it to any time your opponent um, summons a monster might be summon or special summon let me see uh, normal or special summon so any monster that hits the field after this card is played it gets his attack halved that is crazy. Have the attack of everything. Doesn't matter. They're getting their attack halved. Um, unless it says unaffected by card effects. Then I, that ain't gonna work. My two ulti super poly. I'm waiting on my third one in the mail. Um, my emergency teleports here. I only got one secret rare one. Uh, fusion deployment. Sign at minings. Gotta have them. Uh, let's see. This is just kind of a random through it in section that I kind of cards rotate in and out of. And then we hit the traps. The other imperms, I have ultras and I have these gold ones. They're in a deck already. Different Dimension and Ground, I use that card a lot. I use Sonic Stone a lot. Different Dimension makes it, um, any monster that's sent to the graveyard is banished and said. And then this one is when your opponent declares an attack, you negate the attack, and then you can pitch a level four or lower tuner monster. So you get it. You get to negate attack. Or wait, is it pitch or special summon? Negate the attack and then special summon a level. All right, you get to negate their attack and then you get a special summon. It's ridiculous. It's just downright ridiculous. So. Wall of Disruption is pretty crazy. When uh, your opponent 
attacks um, or declares an attack all attack position monsters they control lose 800 attack for each monster they control so if they got three monsters they're losing 2400 attack each monster blanketly because it's non-targeting so take that dragoon uh, different dimensional barrier another set of um, different dimensional ground because you can tell I love that card Typhoon is a great card there's a couple uh, one ofs down here well trip tricks not a one of I just the other two are in a deck and they pretty much stay there Torrential Tribute, my, by far my favorite. My secret rares right now I think are in my totally awesome deck or might be Marincess or something like that. They're in a water deck, I know that for sure. I only have two Royal Prisons, need to pick up another one. Bog Blade, incredible. Anti-Spell Fragrance, never used it. I have yet to use it, I'm not saying it's not a great card. But I have never used it, and the only reason I haven't used it is because I always look at the cards that are in my deck and I go, Would I want to wait a turn? No, probably not. So, yeah, no, I haven't used it yet. But, um, I'll figure out one of these days is a good deck to play it in. Maybe as long as I can make my first turn that really powerful spot in the deck, it won't be so bad playing this. And since it's a trap, I could probably play my quick play spells and then play this later. Or chain to this. That would be what's even better. Um, pulling the rug. Altis. Um, all that wacky alchemy alti. And destruction of destiny altis. Soul drain up here. Hiding out in the corner. There's the other impermanence. Crackdown. I like this one. But um, it never leaves the field right. When they declare an attack. You target it. And then negate it. And then set this card right. Some people play this card wrong, they think they can negate the attack, set this, negate the attack, set this, negate the attack, you can't do that. You can use this card, man, but you can't just negate every single monster. You can, if you had three of these out there, you could use one, two, three, that's fine. But just because it doesn't say once per turn, that just, it doesn't mean you can just keep doing the same thing over and over. That would be busted. Macro Cosmos, oh my god, that card, it's crazy. That card. So Imperial Order too. So crazy. Uh, what else? What else? Trap Trick of Love. Domain of Punishment. Pointer. Dark Sacrifice. This card. When your opponent activates a card or effect that would destroy a card or cards on the field. So even Raigeku or something. You can negate it. And then you send a level 3 or lower dark monster from your deck to the graveyard. So you get to negate their destruction. And... You get the Foolish Burial. Play this card in Phantom Knights or Burning Abyss or something and tell me that it is not busted. Literally. Oh, you're going to Regeki my board, negate, Foolish Burial, effect, blah, 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 continue. It's crazy. Broken Line's a good card. Um, another set of Sonic Stun because, like I said, it's pretty nice to negate and special summon on an attack. It's pretty damn good. Uh, we got the... Kind of the floodgate section up here, which is going to be the you can only summon uh, two times per turn. You can only control one. What is that? Uh, a tribute of monster. You can only control one of each type, and you can only control one type of monster. So all the floodgate stuff. Waken the dragon. I love this card. I love it so much, man. I really do. It's like, when I play this card, I specifically put in, like, a card or two that's just busted, and it's really hard to get out, and when they pop this, oh, oh, oh man, here comes the big guns, so, especially if the card reads, can, uh, um, unaffected by other cards effects, oh, thank you, Aiken the Dragon, for giving me something like that on the field, in a, in a deck it has no business being in. Evenly matched. Oh my god, I was so happy when I finally got those. A lot of these cards I had to, you know, get after the reprints and stuff like that. And here's my Grave Diggers Trap Holes. Back to three. Lost Wind. Great card. Wiretap. Time Space. Oh, my Alti. Trap Tricks. Oh my god. Trap Tricks. 
These actually, I picked them up for 35. I think they're like, I don't know, 60, 70 something now. I have no idea. I haven't looked in a while, but I know they almost doubled for a while. When a monster that was special summoned this turn activates its effect on your opponent's side of the field, negate and destroy. How about that? They activate an effect. All they have to do is special summon a monster and then go effect, and you go, nope. Negate and destroy, and I do it in an ulti fashion. So, love that card. I also love Bottomless Trap Hole. Very good card, man. Get out, Dimensional Barrier, Trap Stun. Don't really ever use these ones too much. However, I have definitely used Warning Point. I definitely love Witch's Strike. Witch's Strike is one of those cards, man. Holy crap. If you don't have it, and you hate hand traps, get this card. If your opponent negates the normal or special summon of a monster or monsters, or the activation of a card or an effect. So basically, if your opponent negates anything you do, destroy all cards your opponent controls and all the cards in their hand, everything. 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 What? I use Rhoda? Ash Blossom? Chain Witch's Strike, get rid of your entire hand and your board. Thank you very much. Thanks for playing. Good night. I'll be here all week. I mean, Jesus Christ. Threatening Roar makes it, you want to um, use this if, if, I don't know, there's different times you can use it, but I, I, I like to shotgun it either if I know my opponent's playing um, a deck that can negate like traps and stuff like that, I like to shotgun it in the standby phase. Otherwise, I love playing this card. Just to watch them make this board, and then right when they say battle phase, I go, Threatening Roar, you cannot attack this turn. Oh, ruins their day. It's pretty good. Uh, I need to get one more storming mirror horse, but otherwise I have pretty much all of the good mirror horses. Secret rare, secret rare, secret rare. Um, ultra rare because I don't think they make that card in secret. Ultimate providence, debunk and secret rare. I love this card so much. If you go against virtual world, drytron, anything. When a monster effect is activated in the hand or graveyard, negate the activation and if you do banish it. I mean... Even hand traps, like just nothing. I think this what is the stop Nibiru too? Like anything that activates in your hand, debunk says no. So, an incredibly, incredibly powerful card. Oh, we made it to the end. The solemn end. Solemn strike. Solemn warning. Solemn judgment. I think these are from Dual Devastator. These are from Dual Saga. And these are from Legendary Collection Kaiba. So beautiful Secret Rare Solemn Judgment. But I also love these warnings. The only one I don't like is Solemn Strikes. I really wish I had these in Secret Rare. That would be pretty incredible. But there you have it, man. We just... Oh, so many, so many good cards. How can you go wrong with two pages full of pop? Cards, pot cards, not pot, like not marijuana, just pot, pot of prosperity. And that's why I always have to mark this channel as not made for children. I just said marijuana on the internet, oh my god. But, if the comment section is ever turned off, it's only because YouTube hates me and they like to um, make my channel available to children. Um, and that turns comments off. I don't know why. I have never uploaded one video where I said, hey, this channel is made for children only. But, um, hey, YouTube does what YouTube does. So, that is it. I would love to hear your comments on my staples. Maybe there's a card out there that I don't have in here that you would go, hey, man, you should really check out this. It really helps me in this deck, or it's just so powerful you can use it in anything. I would love to hear that. There's cards all the time that get used and I go, oh, I've never read that. Can I read it? I read it. It blows my mind and then I try to pick it up so I can use it against them in a revenge game. Because I'm Scorpio, man. 
We hold grudges. Whether you believe in that sort of thing or not, I hold grudges. So, there you have it. I'm gonna harpy's feather duster my way out of here. Shazam. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.